Well, hello. This is a short story about two dogs and their growing family. Soft-coated Wheaton Terriers are a wonderful breed, a mid-sized dog with zero shedding. Here's Ben and Roxy. You know, we were sure to get Roxy's hips checked and her eyes checked. She got all her pre-shots. You can see she's obviously compatible with Ben. Ben's a purebred Wheaton as well. Dog cycles run about every six months, and Roxy started her cycle on Valentine's Day. Yes, I know. Very, very special. Here's Ben. You can see all the four plays left him with a bad case of blue ball. A little bit stuck there out in the yard. They call him Big Ben. Don't worry. Roxy will be squaring up for him soon enough once the timing's right. Yeah, they've had their couple days together. You can see they're starting to get a little dirty. I think Ben's peed on every part of the property just to lay his mark. Ben's the lighter one. Both very beautiful dogs. Well, after a couple of days of spending some time together and getting to know each other and talking about what's important in life, I think they're finally ready to consummate the relationship. Roxy's ready to give Ben a full green light, showing she's ready to get pregnant. It's all very natural. Of course, I think the first 20 or 30 times Ben tried, Ben's only two years old, Roxy's six, but I think about his first 30 attempts, he was putting in the side door, so I think he's finally figured out where he wants to go here. You can see Roxy, she's still a little bashful. It was a tough weekend for our uh, former virgin, and uh, here she is after her spa treatment. Oh, she's a doll, isn't she? She's just a little wiped out. Well, a couple weeks later now, and she's got her morning glory on. It's always good to give a dog a good nipple shave and a nice aggressive hygienic cut prior to the expected delivery. Here we're going to see her firstborn. The water breaks, and voila, you got life. She delivered eight puppies over about six hours. She took several breaks in the process. The waiting pool is actually an excellent environment. We had, she likes to lick herself to help ease the puppy launch. And to be Dr. Kevin Graham, my son, help with the delivery. There's the waiting pool there. We had the first two in the house, and the wife kicked us to the garage, so the third was born right near the doom buggy. Now the fourth one you're about to see born. Wheatons are born black. They turn orange, brown, and black relatively quickly and stay that way for a number of years before turning the color wheat. There's number four just easing out the back door. And uh, again, she'll want to eat her sack. You really only let her eat one of those for the antibodies, so they say. And uh, cut it off, put some alcohol on it. Got the new puppies checked out by Vet Laporte within 24 hours, and their tails were docked later the same week. Well, the deliveries took quite a toll on Roxy, but she fared pretty well. Here she is nursing a few of them before she gives birth to the last couple. She's a blessed dog. Hey, Roxy, it's Aunt Karen and Candy. Glad to see how you're doing. How's the puppy? Glad you're a great mom. So here's a couple quick photos. These are when they're still a week old because they still have their tails prior to being docked. And then uh, about three or four weeks, they start being able to build a little mobile around the yard, develop a little bit of a personality, and, of course, they fall in love with people as much as people fall in love with them. Well, these puppies sure have been a complete joy. Here they are in their little home in the garage, hanging out with Mommy Dearest. And uh, as they got bigger, we started leaving them in the yard a little more so they can get their exercise. And they sure love their Mama Roxy. She's a good mother. This is her on Mother's Day looking all pretty for the photo. With her little puppy sucking away. They start to get a little more active. We try to get them exercise, put a bowl of food out, and boy, they sure do come a running. Here they are here. You get a good shot here of them working on Roxy standing up. This is kind of in the period when they transition to real food. Poor Roxy, she's like an eight pump filling station there. I don't know if you can see Scrawny, but he's barely able to stand up to those nipples at this point. So they're getting canned food and milk. Here they are sucking on some food. I don't know if you can see Scrawny there, he's having a hard time breaking the pack. It's a little small bowl for eight puppies. I'm not sure how Octomom does it. Here's some shots of them little puppies when we first put their collars on. 
their personality starting to come out and they're growing, they'll be Roxy size before it's all over. This is Kev Kev, and this is our house, and the puppies are out in front, and they're really cute to play with. You see that one? Close to the camera. So here we are just enjoying a nice sunny day in Poway, California. Dogs being kind of lazy out in the yard. They get their shots about the seventh or eighth week, and uh, they're targeted to be out of the litter on week nine. So before we get ready to sign off, how about a quick word from the parents of the stud, Ben? I am Val Geller, uh, Ben's uh, well, uh, guardian. Uh, my wife's name is Lena, uh, Lena Geller, and uh, we're Ben's uh, parents. And Ben is a 30-pound a uh, wheat and terrier, and we love him so much. And he's an uh, octa dad, and we're really, really, really happy for him. And we're going to take a puppy from him. The best in town. We're going to call him Jerry, and we're very, very, very happy. Ben and Jerry, that sounds awesome, dude. Woo! Well, I just want to say it's really been blessed, and uh, a lot of joy having these puppies. We sure are going to miss them. I hope someday one of you new owners is able to send me a picture or a video, and uh, take good care of them, show them lots of love, and uh, well, I guess Ben and Roxy are empty nesters now. Maybe they can take off on a trip to Florida. <laughs> hey, this video was brought to you by EmpowerMePhoto.com, a division of Grande Gringos Incorporated.